Our study asked how the bones of the forelimbs and the hindlimbs in an early tetrapod body plan supported walking on land and what factors potentially drove differences in the functional roles of these limbs. But how do we study the movements of animals that have been dead for hundreds of millions of years? One solution has been to study living animals that share similarities with the fossilized animals of interest. In this study, we used tiger salamanders um, to model the walking abilities of an early tetrapod because they share ecological and morphological similarities. We used high-speed cameras to record these fine-scale movements of the, the salamanders as they walked over this device that recorded the forces that were being exerted onto the limb bones. And then collect, we collected anatomical data on the muscles and the bones. These data were then integrated into a mathematical model that estimated how well the limb bones supported walking. And even though the, the limbs were about the same size, we found that the forelimbs and the, um, had greater ability to withstand the physical demands of walking uh, due to these internal stress-reducing uh, features of the forelimb bones. These results help explain how the unique functional roles of different limbs in an animal are driven by differences in how these structures are moved and their musculoskeletal anatomy. More broadly, these data are, are, uh, can then be integrated with direct measurements from fossil bones to address questions on, dif on how differential limb function contributed to the evolutionary invasion of land by tetrapods.